Measuring distance on a map can be done in various ways. If a line is straight, we could easily measure it with a ruler or along the side of the compass. We have centimetres, millimetres or a Romer scale according to the particular map that we're using. If we are walking on a straight section of path, it would be easy enough to put the edge of the compass along there and measure it. Equally so, if we were in a classroom or planning it at home, we could just use a ruler if we have one to hand. Very seldom are paths straight. Normally, we're winding our way through the mountains. How do we measure that? The best way is to use string. And the best string to hand is normally the string that's at the bottom of our compass. For our large training map here, we're just going to use a, a thick bit of climbing rope to show us how we would measure around these bends. Let's take a look. Using our training map, if we wanted to measure from the edge of the forest following the single track, round the bends, down through the junction, to meet up the split junction here, I can use a piece of string to enable us to do that. We take the end of the string, or put a knot in it as a marker, and we place it exactly where we're going to start walking from. We want to accurately pinch it so it is following the route we were taking around any bends, pinching it nice and tight, being as accurate as possible to follow that route. I can then take the piece of string off and pull it tight. To measure that distance, I could either use a ruler or the edge of the the compass where I have centimetres, millimetres or a Romer scale. But remembering back, each one of these boxes on a map is one kilometre in length. I could use that to initially see the distance. When I place this down, in this particular instance, it's exactly two kilometres. 